we're gonna whip here. So if you've been, uh, if you've been uh, watching my videos, some people are perceptive, and some people are not. If you look at my videos, majority of my videos are basically shot or, or is at low tide, and we're in low tide right now. <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to show you what we do. We do some whipping techniques today, this morning. We've got a... This is the... Uh, this is a HMG rod. Seven foot. Real, real small. We've got an Orca lure. The Orca lure right here. It's uh, the medium sized one. Uh, runs around... Oh, uh, well, maybe... I don't know, maybe about 20 bucks. 21.99 and the fishing supply. But anyway, you got a this is about two feet leader, 80 pound test Andy. You got a swivel, swivel right here, small one, and a smaller one like this would, would break because of the braid. We've got 40 pound braid right here, and we've got a 5,000 Stratic Shimano, and uh, drag set is about 12 pounds with the scale, and now we're gonna whip. I'm going to start from the left side, go to the right, and it's going from left to right. So what we try to do is flip from this side. If you look at it, this is the angle right here. This is the reef. It's parallel to me on the left side of my shoulder. And on the right side over here is another reef going this way. So what we do now is we whip from left to right. Very simple and quick. Okay, so here we go. We're going to watch this one here. Whoa! <laughs> I whip the flipper. But the, the, the retrieve is extremely fast. Uh, it's thrown this probably about 40, 50 yards. Uh, and the retrieve is fast. It's a pump and drag. It's a pump and pull. It's a pump and every crank. Uh, I'm not a pull. I don't normally do a pull and drag. It's a pop on every time I lift the rod up. So it's on every crank. You can see it in the video. Here we go. Pop in every crank, just like that. So on the top of the surface, if you see the pump, it's probably 30, 40 yards, trying to entice the fish to strike. And I don't even get time for him to think, in actuality, because it's, it's very short. The duration that he has to hit the lure is extremely quick. So if he's 30 or 40 feet out, he's going to have to fight to get this plug. <laughs> so it, it's, a, it's a learning curve, as we, we say. But I do this. And I always say in my mind, see how fast you are and catch me. <laughs> and that's what I do. So we've got one from there at about 10. We've got one at 11. We've got one at 12 o'clock. And you can see it. You can see it popping on the water. Uh, it's not pulling drag mode. It's extremely fast, like I said. So we got 12. Now we do this at about 1 o'clock. And then we pull and drag again. It's pull and drag. And that's it. We're just going over the water real fast. And then when we get to one more side here, about... Maybe two o'clock, and then we'll come back again one more time, and then we'll move very fast. That's why I fish, like I said, that fish a couple layers in, in about an hour. Real fast. Poof. Here we go. We're a pop and pull. See, we got something that's laying loose early this morning here. Tide's going down. Don't know. Tide's going down. Don't know here. Yep. Pretty nice water, though. Okay, so now we finish on the 2 o'clock, we go back again. It's 1 o'clock mode now. Straight up. And like I said, we just pull and pop. It's a pop. It's a pop on every crank. I'm just looking for something big. <laughs> if it's going to hit it, it's going to be fast. Uh, whoop. We had a spooler uh, when I didn't have the video. That was Sunday morning. And it was in the same area right here. Low tide. Uh, spooled me with 40 yards, went all the way to the end, and uh, broke at the end. Uh, it broke right at the swivel, actually. Everything came back except the lure. Okay, so we're going here faster. Got this area almost done. Like I said, if they're here and the lure presentation is correct, then we'll have a strike. But uh, right now, they're not around. Got one more, one more turn here, and then we're going to go back, and then we move very fast. Probably not even 10 seconds there. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful morning. Beautiful morning for whipping. Most people are working right now. So, it's okay. We got time to go, maybe in lunch hour. Take it and go and whip. Okay, we're back 12 o'clock mode here. We'll do two more after this. This is 12. We'll do a one and a two, and then we'll move. We're right, right down on the reef side to the next, like a low, low portion. And we're okay. Okay, so we've got this is a 12. Now this is a one o'clock. And then we're going to two o'clock mode, and then we'll move. So it's, it's catching the air really fast, but I, I normally go twice. So if the fish is around, she'll pick it up and she'll get to the noise. She'll come to the noise because those, those omilu, the omilu, they're fast. Okay, we go down that way, then we move. Um, we're using a heavy. I, I love the HMG heavy uh, because when I pull the plug, uh, it's coming toward me, and uh, I, I love the action in that portion. Uh, the other ones are too flex. They're flex, so when you pull it. You, you, it doesn't come with you because you, there's a lot of flex to it. So we're moving now. So we shot one at two o'clock and we're going to go this way. Go to the edge of the reef in the middle over there. And then we'll try again. We're trying to find one that's laying loose, like I said. So we'll do the 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and then move again. <clears throat> Real fast. So I cover a lot of ground. And that's one of the advantages that I have. Most people stay in one area forever. So if you do that, uh, you, you're waiting for the fish to be around, and uh, in my technique, you, you're trying to find the fish. You need to find the fish, and that's one of the best techniques, I think. You gotta find the fish. You gotta find where he at, because the fish is moving. Unless there's a there's a pile here, and then 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 then, then you can, you know, they, then they're here. But doing this portion here, like I said, we're we're finding the fish. Um, used to dunk, but I quit dunking because it takes too long. You know, waiting rice, okay, you have family and all that, you know, go barbecue same time and all that, stay with family and go swimming or whatever, and then that, that, you can dunk. But on a whipping mode, there's no time to do that, basically, because you're always moving. So this is one of the advantages of it, that's why I like it. It's fast and easy. You can do it on your spare time, on your lunch break, or whenever, going, before going home. The ocean is here, especially Kauai, you, you know, you get water all over the place, you just gotta go. All right, that's gotta go. Okay, so we got one there, and not a 12 here. We're gonna go like 11 and 10, and then come back one more time, and it will move. So, uh, hit, I had a, I hit two in here just recently, and uh, was well, Sunday was a schooler, and I didn't have a camera. I didn't bring a camera with me at that time, and then uh, that uh, afternoon I came and I hit a barracuda, and that's on uh, I think it's way before barracuda six, if I'm not mistaken, in the video. I caught him on the orca lure, similar to this one. Uh, I normally go into a kaku, a little bit kaku, um, but uh, I'm going to the orca right now since I see mullets. I see mullets around, so orca looks more like a mullet. Uh, I think when the ahi, uh, when the akuli is around, then I'll use the kaku lure. Uh, but right now I see mullets in the water, so uh, the orca looks more like a mullet to me. And uh, this is probably one of the fish that they, they they eat the most because it's most prevalent around here. So I, I, I don't know where you fish at, but wherever you fish, that's what you need to find out. You know what kind of fish is available, and uh, that is what they're going to bite. That's what they're going to hit. Okay, so we're in a 12 o'clock mode. We got one and two, and we're going to move. So and then we'll find another area. Very fast, quick. Don't take a lot of time. And so that's about it. So that is my video tips. Uh, so uh, good luck on your next video or your next fishing trip. And uh, uh, say I don't, I don't spend a lot of money on lures and equipment and all that. I've, I've spent some. I, I don't plan on the upgrading. Uh, the reason why is that, I've, that this is enough to catch more than 99% of the fish that I go for. So I love the 5,000. Uh, I've sold two, about two, sold the two. Because one of my the other friends wanted them, so I, then I just turned around and bought a brand new one. So this is a, my brand new one. <laughs> okay, good luck on your next fishing trip. Stratic 5000 FJ, fitted with 40 pound power pro.